welcome back to my channel guys so this video is going to be a review on this dryer the ionic pro rollabout dryer so i've already had this box for quite a while so when you open it it's gonna have this thing which is where the head is going to be and it'll have all of this other stuff to protect the head in there as well and then there's a pamphlet that also comes with it as you can see the dryer has wheels The wheels are included. And you hear the dryer starts. This actually starts the dryer. And when you pull it back up, it stops. And you just, when you pull it all the way down, you click it in there, in this little notch right here, and that just stops it. And with this thing here, it always has a problem with just falling down out of the middle of nowhere. So what I like to do is go on the side of my dryer. And for the most part, I usually have, I don't have it on high. I usually have it set at low, I mean at, at off at all times. I, then I'll set it at whichever one I need it to be set at. But for the most part, I usually try to turn it off because this thing just falls down. I can be just walking past it literally and it'll just fall down like that. And now the dryer starts and I don't want to, be using unnecessary um, electricity. So here's the off button. There is a button for cool, which I never use. And then there's for low heat. And then there's one for high heat. And this thing, you can move it around like that. And if you want it to be ionic then you have to push that lever if you want to use it for let's say you have somebody that's pretty tall that sits in your chair then you use this lever thing right here that's for somebody really really short maybe a kid but then your chair doesn't match up with it but if you have somebody really tall you just lever it all the way up as high as you need it to go and it goes pretty high and then you just tighten it and that's this is where you tighten it at right there it's a pretty long cord too i have it to connect all the way up there and then Right here at the top is where the vent is located. There's the fan in the inside of that, which I never mess with. So that is the review on my dryer. Um, I literally use this dryer about I use that literally every day. Um, and I use it every day that I'm working, which is about five days a week. Um, There's some days I'm here about six days a week and I'll use it every single day, about three to five clients sometimes a day. And it works like a charm. I've had it for two months and um, it gets really hot. Um, this dryer I also use to like dry my bundles too. So what I do when I want to dry my bundles is I'll put like a towel. Put the bundles out. Well, no, what I'll do is I'll put a towel from here to here and then I'll just stick, a, stick, stick my bundles like right there and then put like the clips, a whole bunch of clips all the way around to hold the bundles in there and it dries like a charm. And it, it usually takes about, if I'm drying like uh like bundles and stuff like that, it usually takes me about mm, 
about 30 minutes to completely dry, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I do a lot of drying of extensions under here. So I have a lot of my clients that have like the sew-ins already done and they sit underneath the dryer and um, they are able to, I'm able to dry their hair within like 30 to 40 minutes. It's really good with drying extensions and natural hair. Um, I do my roller sets under here and um, they're usually dry in about 20 to 30 minutes. And I also do my deep conditioning treatments under here. For the treatments, I've learned to not use the high heat because the high heat starts to burn people, or not burn it, but it gets really hot on people's foreheads. So if you use a low heat, you'll still be able to get that hot heat, but it won't be too hot that you're scolding your client's foreheads trying to, you know, give them a treatment. But other than that, this dryer is awesome. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, it hasn't broken. Like I said, I've had it for two months. Um, I got it from Sally's. It was on sale for about um, 80 bucks or so. I was kind of hesitant on getting it at first because of it being so cheap and the fact that it was available at Sally's. So I was just like, I'm a hairstylist. I don't want to, you know, I'm used to using professional stuff that comes from like Cosmoprof and like your professional um, salon stores. But uh, so I was kind of undecided on if I wanted to get it from Sally's, but it turned out to be a good purchase. Like I said, I've had it for two months now. And right now I'm just, I'm saving up money to get a more expensive dryer, which um, I'm saving up for one of those dryers that you attach to the wall and then you just pull it down to the person's chair and it's super, super nice. But they're like over a thousand dollars in some cases and the really nice ones are like 1600. So I'm saving up for that. And in the meantime, I'm gonna keep this dryer because actually it hasn't given me any issues. And once I get done using it here, I'll probably take it home and keep it there for my, um, for my, my kids when I'm doing their hair in my own hair as well but this dryer is awesome you can wheel it anywhere you need it to be it goes everywhere i mean anywhere you want it to set it up at only thing is with these those rollers at the bottom they don't if you detach them then um it causes the the actual dryer to not be stable anymore so don't look, do like I did and remove those rollers thinking that you're gonna get something that can be tucked underneath the chair. It's not gonna happen. So don't even bother removing them. But um, what I do is I just tuck it underneath the chair and it goes, but it, it, I mean, the only thing I don't like is the fact that the legs are so wide that when I open my door here, my door is here. So with my door being here, and the rollers being there, sometimes it can get in the way. And I don't like for anyone to trip over anything as soon as they walk in. So what I try to do is like tuck it in the corner. Then I'll bring the chair over. And I just stick the chair like as close to it as possible. And then Voila. And the head is big enough for any size head to fit in here. And it's even big enough for a person that if they had rollers, like really big rollers, they could still fit under here. This dryer head is very, very large. So you have no problem with fitting somebody under here with a big head and, and big rollers. And then this part just comes down like this. The dryer usually would start up, but I turned it off. So set it down like that. And there you go. And I just looked at the box and the cord that comes with this is also, it's um, nine feet. That's why it's so long and I'm able to stretch it all the way up here and then plug it into the wall up there because it's nine feet. So um, yeah, so that is it. If you guys are interested in seeing a video on how I actually utilize this dryer, then comment that below and I'll, I'll do a video of how I use it on a day-to-day -day basis, what I'm doing to my clients. I really feel like this dryer is probably gonna last me for a few years because it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's pretty sturdy. It's not like that cheap plastic. It's a really sturdy type of plastic. So I post content every 
Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So make sure you go and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Thank you, and I will see you guys on the next video. Stay blessed, stay motivated, and um, stay beautiful. All right, bye guys.